I just want you to know that by clicking on this video, you've become an accessory to my crimes. Let me take you back a few weeks. On one of the wilder Friday nights of this month, I was casually perusing the Shein app and I came across this dress. And our eyes met and we fell in love. And now I need her. But it is kind of morally iffy to buy from Shein. So I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna steal this design and make it myself. Now, I hear what you're thinking. <clears throat> Isn't it just as morally iffy to steal things? My response to that is yes, it would be if she and hadn't already proven time and time again that they're perfectly comfortable with stealing things. So I get a free pass. Now I am going to change one thing, which is that I'm gonna make it longer. That's all. I made a little sketch. I just think it looks cuter when it's longer and I don't really wear short dresses personally. So I have two different fabrics to make this dress out of. For the top layer, I have this beautiful flowery blue fabric. My grandma gave this to me a few years ago as a little gift. Uh, and it's been rotting in the back of my fabric stash ever since then. And then I also have this white fabric that I'm gonna layer underneath it just to make sure it isn't see-through. Um, this was 12 euros, so the total cost of this dress will be that. Which is more expensive than I was on Shein and it will take a lot more time, but you know... You can't put a price on being allowed to sit on your moral high horse and go, actually... <laughs> One challenge of this project is that I am going on vacation in three weeks and I really want to wear the dress there. But three weeks is a lot of time to sew a dress, right? But I only have the weekends, so I have six days. I'm away the last weekend, so I only have four days. And I kind of already wasted half of this day by sleeping in, so I have three and a half days. And I'm not a very experienced seamstress. I've made dresses before that looked really miserable and didn't fit well, but I've never made a proper dress before and I really want this dress to fit well. So... Pray for me, I don't know. And if it doesn't work out, I'll just not post this video and you'll never know. I really want to cut my fabric on the ground, but the ground is dirty because my dog is shedding, so I have to vacuum first. Uh. <laughs> I do the cooking, yes, I do the cleaning. Actually, my sister does the cooking and I only have frequently do the cleaning, so. Just want to show you the culprit. You my hairy baby. You my hairy baby. Here you are. So I'm editing the video and I realized that I've been a silly little goose. Yeah, you silly goose. You're so silly. Because I never actually showed you what piece of the dress I'm working on, which is pretty important information. So here's a general pattern that I drew. And the circle piece is the one that I'm working on at this point in the video. As you can see, I'm layering both fabrics on top of each other because at some point I heard a professional say, measure once, cut twice, and I really try to live by that. Somewhere on the screen there is a little sketch of the measurements that I took, and I'm just gonna transfer those onto the fabric. Give me a pen, make it pen. pen. And I take a spark. God, I hope this is right. This is all the fabric I have, so if I mess up, it's not like I can try again. Just make sure this is straight before I cut it. Maybe you just love, love her. You can get and rediscover. I had a game and you the third. Now when we were dinosaur. I don't wanna stay in love in this life and the next fall. I think we already married somewhere on another planet. That's straight enough. Yes, my very set when they made me. That's straight enough. Alright. Time to pin this together and try it on and see if I have to start over or not. Not bad at all, huh? I'm just gonna sew it like a little bit tighter than this. But yeah, I'm not gonna repin it because that's too much work. Oh yeah, ladies, it's time to play a game of Bob and Chicken. Who will win? Probably not me. <laughs>
Okay, so it's been sewn. I'm just gonna try it on again. Okay, so the body part fits really well, but I have to make this a little tighter. It's gonna be so cute though. <laughs> so I kind of estimated where the curve of my body is wrong. Um, because I measured this point, this point, and this point, but I connected these two wrong. So I'm just gonna take away this curve here because I have a little bit of hip dip. So I should have taken that into account. We have a dress. I mean, we have the bottom of a dress, which is all I was hoping to achieve today anyway. So I am going to sit on my little lazy butt and do absolutely nothing. And tomorrow I'm gonna work on the top. Tomorrow. Do not be fooled because I'm wearing the same thing as yesterday. It is actually tomorrow. I'm gonna start working on the top. I've been thinking about how to do this and I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna start cutting and see where we end up. <laughs> okay, I was trying to explain what I was doing, but it was taking way too long. So instead I'm just going to cut out the panel pieces and show you when it's done. Okay, so I ended up having to make a little mock-up to help me figure it out, but I think I did it. Um, this is the back panel, this is the front panel with space for ruffling. As you can see, there are two different panels. Um, I didn't have enough space on my fabric left to make it one panel, so it's just gonna have a seam down the center, but I don't think that will matter at all because, uh, again, there'll be ruffles there, so no one will see. I'm just gonna pin it together and try it on. I don't think that's bad at all. I'm gonna make some straps and then attach the upper edge, add ruffle, all that jazz. Um, wow, thoughts are really hard today. Matter of fact, thoughts were so hard today that I didn't record any of the strap making, so I'm just gonna explain it through the magic of doodles. Grab a strip of fabric, fold it along the dotted line, sew close at the open edges, uh, fold it inside out, and then you should have a tunnel which you can feed a little elastic through. While stretching it out, you want to sew it together with a zigzag stitch, and then when it snaps back, it looks like this. For the top, I separated the two layers, and I'm just going to close them along the edges. This clip is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to explain it anyway. I take the pretty sides of the fabric facing each other, then I put um, the strap in between so the edge sticks out to the top, and then I sew along the top so that when I flip it inside out, all the seams are on the inside and the strap is like invisible and nice. And I also added an elastic oh, to the top is. edge before sewing it closed so that I get that nice ruffle effect that I wanted. And it turned out really pretty. <laughs> Later. It is day three. I didn't feel like dressing up today, so just deal with it, okay? So with the top and the skirt being done, this means I only have to Hem the bottom and attach the top to the skirt, and then I have a dress. That's what I'm going to do today, and I'll show you the end result in the reveal, which means I have the fourth day off, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's all finish out of it. Yes. Okay. Three, two, eight. <laughs> 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 